It's definitely warming up. It's gonna be a hectic week for me too this week. And with that in mind, what's going on today? Seems like there was a lot of news about, I guess, counter drone tech per se. How about this first one? This one says, experts convene to discuss law enforcement use and defense of drones. Over 300 participants from more than 50 countries gathered in Norway to attend Interpol's fourth expert conference on the use of drones. Representing a multitude of law enforcement agencies as well as attendees, security and emergency preparedness functions. Hosted alongside the Norwegian police and UAS Norway, the conference allowed law enforcement and industry partners to share expertise and best practices on both the security risk that drones can represent and how this fast moving technology can assist law enforcement in their essential mission. So it seems like here it talked a lot about, I guess, police usage of things like drones potentially as well as giving them more tools in general to counter these drones that are flying illegally they say. It says counter drone systems or CUAS systems have been identified as a potential solution to address the challenges of unmanned aircraft systems. CUAS systems can detect, track, identify and mitigate a drone threat entering the monitored airspace. Nevertheless, drone countermeasures are a relatively new technology that uses different forms of automated systems to maintain airspace safety. Despite increased attention toward the potential benefits of CUAS systems, the capabilities of these systems are still difficult to benchmark. Consequently, end users find it challenging to match the right counter drone tools to the specific use cases. I wonder by that if they mean there are some stories if you remember like just say a military weapon per se it'll take out everything within like a vicinity versus just targeting a specific i guess drone per se ultimately i still think in the end it should be find a way to take care of the issue versus for example putting everyone in the same bucket creating an over-the-top regulation because for the most part in a lot of places like say flying around a quote controlled airspace a lot of people consider still if someone is just flying at the height i don't know of their home or something like that let's just say doing an inspection oh all of a sudden that's the end of the world still so that still needs to change in my opinion overall and even this one sounded like it dealt with things like counter drone measures per se because at first this one says new faa grant to help embry riddle researchers improve drone safety researchers at embry riddle aeronautical university recently received a $371,000 grant from the Federal Aviation Administration to study the detection systems of uncrewed aerial systems or drones to improve the safety of their operation. And says, quote, the research will inform the development of standards and requirements for the accuracy of detect and avoid DAA systems, which will improve safety, especially in scenarios where there are multiple UAS operating in the same airspace and they describe, I guess, some of the potential challenges. It says, for example, a radar system might detect and track birds, which could be mistakenly identified as another vehicle that poses a collision threat. If too much false information is presented, it can overwhelm a human operator, making it difficult to discern real threats from false ones. That's true, it happens a lot where everyone says everything is a quote drone when it ends up being nothing like a balloon, for example. At the same time, in terms of, I guess, overwhelming the person trying to monitor everything it made me think too like here what happened like when they use things like those maps to detect oh i want to get approval here and there to fly and there's literally thousands of people doing nothing more than flying say i don't know a cool toy drone no higher than a tree imagine that you have all these like dots on your map oh drone everywhere within the airspace like that would get kind of ludicrous correct i don't know if they actually thought that far ahead so of course here they don't specifically talk about they're making this to take down drones per se, it's more to just detect them, but I can imagine just with the research they probably would use this in conjunction with whatever else system would be developed. At the same time, I, again, I still think the important thing is to make a clear distinction in terms of what's, for example, a quote toy drone, people flying it for fun and all that versus some kind of huge manned aircraft or something carrying hazardous materials and all that and there still hasn't been that type of i guess work done from what i've seen anyways in a lot of parts of the world from what i gather from reading history we're still in that phase kind of like with cars where they had red flag traffic laws and all that it sounds so ridiculous when you read how it was compared to what we do nowadays but in general that's how drones are 
for the most part. And I thought this was kind of an interesting read in terms of a discovery. It says, mummified baby, woolly mammoth, found by gold miner in the Klondike. On June 21st, 2022, a near complete mummified baby woolly mammoth was found in the Klondike gold fields within Trondak Quetch in traditional territory. Miners working on Eureka Creek uncovered the frozen woolly mammoth while excavating through the permafrost. It makes me think, is this actually way more valuable than any gold they would find? It's that the Yukon has a world-renowned fossil record of Ice Age animals, but mummified remains with skin and hair are rarely unearthed. Nunchoga is the most complete mummified mammoth found in North America. It's kind of cool, you can see all the pictures and stuff like that too. It makes you wonder if this will lead to other potential, I guess, discovery and research. Verify certain things people thought may be true, maybe not, because yeah, to find something in that condition is really rare and kind of cool. See you guys later.